Hi there again. This is another knee jerk uh, movie review. I just watched uh, I Am the Pretty Little Thing That Lives in the House. I think that was the name of it. Um, another horror movie. Uh, I had like two hours to kill. The movie was an hour and a half. But I swear to God, every scene was a half hour. I just was. Uh, I, let me give you uh, my disclaimer, though. I always give a, this is a dis movie discussion. It is a movie review. So if you don't like spoilers, I do talk about the movie. And I do. I don't care about spoilers myself. So I will talk about the movie. And if you don't like spoilers, move on. So anyway, this movie. I like gothic horror movies. I like movies without jump scares. I like, you know, that kind of movie. And this movie. I mean, in all fairness, I didn't even watch all of it. It was so boring. It's like they had an idea for a horror movie. And it's, you know, whenever you have the idea of a ghost, a good idea is a good idea. I like the idea that, you know, this guy built a house, you know, with his own two hands. They don't explain why. They don't explain anything. Just on the day they came there for the very first time, he kills the wife and boards her up in the wall and he vanishes um no explanation no nothing they just seem to be a happy couple but he killed her and boarded her up in the wall so it's just like <laughs> what was the point of that you know they're like okay here's the origin of our ghost we're not going to explain it any further than that they show the ghost throughout the movie and it's just like every scene is just it's really slow low piano music and every scene is like here's five minutes of a shot of this door and now the woman's gonna walk past the door and now here's five minutes more of the door after she walked past it i mean it is literally that boring and there's no i don't know it's, it's like a very very unfinished story you know uh, when the woman finally sees the ghost, that's it. It's done. The story's over. Um, and you know the movies that end with like, is this the end or is this more? Or they hint it more. You know, um, at the end of, uh, oh, what's the name of that movie? I, I can't remember. But at the end of you know certain movies, you know, or you think everything's resolved and then they show the ghost again. Like, you know, oh, the ghost is still there. And that's kind of what they were, I don't know, it's just like, okay, here's here's 10 minutes of this hallway, and here's 10 minutes of this girl sitting in a chair, and then, oh, she sees the ghost, she's dead, um, they clear the corpses out of the house, oh, and now here comes the next people that are going to live in the house. Boom, and they kind of hint at, oh yeah, the ghosts are still here. There, I just told you the whole story, <laughs> and they took they took literally what I just said, and stretched it into an hour and a half. And the way they did that, I mean, imagine me telling the story like if I said two words, waited 20 minutes, said two more words, waited 20 minutes, said two more words. That's what the story is. It's just like, oh, okay, here's a long shot of this. I mean, and I got so bored. I'm like, okay, you know, after the first six long shots, I was like, okay, there, here's a long shot of the cupboard. So I'm like, I'm just tapping my fast forward button. You know, just tapping, tapping. Okay, now finally hear the same scene. No, oh no, it's another long shot of the bedroom. So I'm like, okay, fast forward through this. God, it was boring. Um, I really wouldn't recommend this movie. And I don't normally do that. And this is going to be a very quick review because it's just like, don't watch this movie. Um, there's no action. Well, literally, there's no action. There's no horror Nothing will scare you. Um, I mean, the story is literally one sentence long, stretched into a half hour or an hour and a half. It's just, oh, and the only thing I liked about the story is the, I, I guess he's just called the employer. Um, he had a name, but I can't remember, but he was just really creepy. And I think he's going to be good if he had, found the right part in the right horror movie but even his parts were like he talks so slow and everybody in this movie talks i mean literally they talk very slowly and that's the whole movie oh my god 
yeah don't watch this movie don't don't watch it think you're gonna watch a good horror movie um there are like some i is it imdb has a 10 star rating there's like two 10 star ratings and it's like these got to be shills you know because there's all these one star ratings and then there's this you know you always know that's a show when it's that far removed but no it wasn't horrible it wasn't horrifying it wasn't scary it wasn't exciting it didn't make you think it didn't make you do anything other than waste an hour and a half now uh, luckily i didn't waste that long because i fast forwarded through some of the most boring scenes ever um basically the movie's about yeah it's a haunted house yeah people died here blah blah blah. that's it i mean oh my god don't watch this movie <laughs> so this is like the worst movie review i've ever given i've never i've never been this bad about a movie but yeah it's uh, I mean, even the acting, I can't think of anything. I don't know if it, maybe if they explained something, maybe if they had a little action, maybe if something happened every 15 minutes, you know, as opposed to every 20 minutes. So yeah, if you like long shots of old houses, if you like long shots of the same cupboard over and over and over and over and over again, and just long shots of this and maybe if that's the kind of movie you have but um don't don't bother i wouldn't bother with this movie it gets it, i'm giving it like zero stars so i am the pretty thing that lives in the house um it has a long title <laughs> that's kind of fitting for the movie if you've read the title you've read the plot <laughs> you've seen the movie so, yeah, don't bother with this one. It's not a good movie. Thank you.